Hello everyone, it is game day and welcome back to another video. Behind me is Hayes Lane, home of Bromley FC. And I'm here today for a Vanamar National League game between Bromley FC and Gateshead. The Gateshead players warming up, it's the end of the day, Gateshead. So we're coming to today's game between Bromley and Gateshead with two teams who are actually level on points. Gateshead fourth, Bromley fifth. Both teams level on 22 points. Gateshead though with a significantly better goal difference. Bromley after a slow start to the season have now found themselves in the playoffs. Up top they've got Michael Cheek who in non-league is basically just a goal cheat code. He guarantees you 15, 20 goals per season. It's actually Gateshead and Marcus Denanga who have the top goal scorer this season. He's got 11 and here we look to pilot the Heat to another victory as they look to continue their strong start to the season. But they come the two teams. Bromley are in the white and black and it's a sort of light blue and claret. Away kick for Gateshead. Game day, Bromley versus Gateshead at Hayes Lane. Nice little atmosphere from the Gateshead fans that have turned up. Let's hope for a crack on the screens now are these two lineups today. It's teams, Bromley and Gateshead. At Hayes Lane for Bromley versus Gateshead. Early free kick for the Heat, then it was Ollie on it. He was impressive when I saw an old shot. Hoping to see good things from him as well again today. Ollie ball at the box, headed away by Bromley. And they look like they're going to get it clear, they do. He looked to get another ball back into the box though. It's bouncing about and a shot is where it's gone over the stand. So how high that was. Only three minutes in, still 0 0. Big scoreboard there, which will help me along the day. Lovely. Hunt on ball. To the ball line, ball on the box by Luke Cannon. Oh, and I think it must have been Denanga in the middle, but Bromley clear. Oh, not very well, though, but they do eventually get it away. Bromley, first attack of the game for them. Forward they come. So, number eight on the ball. It's into Cheek. It's out wide. Back in for Michael Cheek. What a save, Archie Mare. On low Norwich keeper pulls out the first big save of the game. Lane just not quite fully away. Shot comes in, goes wide, and Mayor's goal. Big chance there for Romney, though, still 0 0. Lee through ball, ball across the box by Krause. It's up in the air, and they still haven't fully dealt with it. Ball's out wide, it's Taylor Hart ball in cheap. And they deal with it, the heave. Off the halfway line, and it's gone over the bar. That really is catching off guard. Still 0 0. Cannot on the ball, has the shot straight to the goalkeeper. Bromley player down. Non minutes in, still 0 0. Went on the ball, it's Hannah it into the middle. Now it's Ollie. Ball across, back post. Oh, oh, oh. Chance, there's one corner. One corner. It was a head injury, though, I think. Corner. Ball at the box. Or punch, it's bouncing about and just didn't quite bounce right to the gate's head. Another corner though. Parish stoppage play. Bromley play it down with an injury. He is up. He is, uh, has to be subbed off, but at least he's alright. And up and about. I believe was their number 23 top lash, but yeah, it's nice to see that he is at least okay. Dinanga goes to the byline. Oh, finds it across and wins a corner. Another one for the Heat. Corner at the box. Down goes Dinanga. Or someone in the box anyway. No penalty given. Answer the game there for Gateshead. Marcus Denanga had two bites at it, uh, but the keeper saved both. And that's now gone out for a Bromley goal kick. Best chance of the game in 23 minutes in for the Heat. Top looking towards Denanga. Falls for Ollie. Ah, oh, he's just lost out. That was unlucky there. And Brock Bromley have the ball and let's come forward with it. For a ball. It's the fourth win. Francis, he can get it out wide. To the byline, ball in the box, in the corner. Corner in, spilled by the keeper. Keeper wins the foul. Free kick from Lee. Anger, God, he just out what's the ball can find room for a shot. He can't. Oh, in, chance. Oh, it's hard oh, to fall from right. And Bromley clear, still nil nil. 
about seven minutes left of the first hour. Seven minutes, we were at five minutes of that. Serious head injury, so there will be plenty of added time here. I must say, Gateshead have been the better team. They've had all the chances. Bromley had a great chance here, which forced a, a great save from Archie Mayer, but that really has been their only chance. Gates have had more of the ball, more of the chances. All they need now is a goal. Ball across the box, no one there. No one there. No a chance goes back for the heat. Still no no. Wayne trying to trick his way through. Picked up by I think that's all he shoots over the bar. It's the ball over the top. Fine Sean Hunter. Just come on the pitch. Oh but he's lost possession. Bromley will get it clear. Chance and it's gone over the bar. Another chance goes begging. That's why they don't come through these much chances in the second half. Still no no. That's a rare attack hit for Bromley. Taylor Hart on the ball. Taylor Hart going down. Not winning a penalty. And a possible counter attack on it for Gates. Says Stevie Wynn. Go oh, for but The attack dies off. We'll find out how much added time we got in a second. Minutes of added time at the end of the first half. Plenty of time for a goal. We've not had one yet. So six minutes left. Still no nil. I'm not going to sure this is Bromley's first corner of the game. It's come a minute into the first half, first minute, sorry, of stoppage time. Ball into the box. It's headed back towards goal by Gateshead player, in fact, and it's not fully cleared. They get it back out wide again. They have a dangerous cheek in the middle. A couple of big lads in there as well. Twisting and turning. And it all looks pretty, but it's not getting the ball into the box. Out wide still. Oh, and he's fallen over and Hunter intercepts. Through ball, and he is on side. Despite the claims of online notch keeper Archie Mayer. Well, they're just playing it back there. Or enough a ball into the box now, which they do. Cheek in the middle. That looks like offside, and it was. That's just a little warning sign there for Gateshead. And Michael Sheet is in the Bromley team. Two and a half minutes left, still no now. Here come. Oh, the heave. What could have been? We got a minute left. Probably not the last attack of the half. Here they go again. The volley. Francis. Balls that one. I can't say that one is, but right to Francis. Passing this ball around very well indeed. Hand and ball into the box. Towards the far post. Easy collected by the Bromley keeper. Let's go. It's half time. Half time here at Hayes Lane. Bromley nil. Gateshead nil. We're at Hayes Lane. It is Bromley nil. Gateshead nil. So it's earlier on. Yeah, Gateshead have had certainly more possessions, certainly more chances. More than they're missing is a goal. Archie Mayer hasn't had much to do. He's had one fantastic save to make. But the Bromley keeper certainly had more saves to make, and he's made them. Um, also, a little bit of extra stoppage time due to the head injury. But frankly, the player is okay. Gateshead look like the team that are going to win this in the second half. I hope so, anyway, in their end today. Um, but you never know, I imagine, or more in fact, I expect Bromley to come out of the second half, be a lot better, but hopefully we can see some goals. Second half here on game day between Bromley and Gateshead. And it comes flies for the second half then here at Ice Lane. Hey Bromley, they're in. Ask a save by Archie Mayer. I don't know how he picked up on the camera, but they were in. Archie Mayer, he's pulled out another great save. He just scored this loud goal, you can't really see it at all uh, on the thing I film, that's why you can't. Well, well, well I won't show you English, you can't really see it, but well, it didn't really look offside to me. And there's also a yellow card for Gates, a player in there as well, so yeah, still now now. Like Nick said, getting very close now. The ball over the top, Hunter's in! Offside again! The referee likes his flag, the linesman likes his flag up. Probably get away with another one. Clear in. Ball over the top. Oh, on the roof of Man's goal. Corner one, though. Probably corner. Sun's in my eyes. I can't really see a lot. I see that much. Man's caught that, though. Lovely boy. And he might try to set the Nanga away. Well, he will try. Will he set the Nanga away? He's wrestling for it. Probably win the free kick from it. Take the ball. Michael Chi! And it's there. Absolutely gifted, and you cannot gift a man like Michael Sheik that charm. Bromley Ultras, average age of about 12. Uh, 
celebrate him. <laughs> Michael, yeah, it's quite funny. Bromley have took the lead. Michael Chi, great finish. Top non league marksman. 55 minutes in, Bromley won, Gates said nil. Against the runner playing completely gifted. I mean, there's one man you do not want to give the chance to, to anyone in the National League, it's Michael Cheek. One of the best strikers in this league. When he's got a one on one, he's obviously going to score. Has it, is it deserved 1 0 lead? Probably not, but that doesn't matter if it's deserved or not. It is Bromley 1, Gates said nil. Hunter. He's already had a disallowed goal in this second half. Hunter tried to get the ball and couldn't do so, and Bromley will get it clear. Still Marcus Denanga, league's top goal scorer. Denanga shot blocked. Gates is in, it's ball across, and cleared. Gates and haven't really responded well at all to the goal, and Bromley looked more likely to get the next goal. Still 1 0 though. Denanga, he is in behind. He's not got any options in the middle though. Someone out on Nolly. He's got Wayne in the middle. Ah, oh, I didn't get to him. Big chance, can not take it. Corner here, Gates Head fans. Making a nice racket. I thought it was me wearing on the corner, but it's not. Francis. Let's play it short to Wayne. He hits the edge of the box. A shot, a bouncing goal kick. Uh, I thought he was single goal kick, and he didn't single corner. Corner Gates Head. Here he said corner for the heat. Corner's in, that's, that's not bad. It wasn't bad at all. Throwing. Just in the distance. You can get some sort of ball in the box, but not really able to do that yet. So on this side. Get the ball back in. Ah, oh, there's no one there for a rebound. It's unlikely. Still one no Brom. An anger, 1 1 Gateshead. That's why he's the league's top goal scorer. That's our 12th run for the season. Gateshead are back in this one. Webster's header just come back out. Corner came in, it was a simple header. So, uh, took, after the gate to get back into it through Denanga, Bromley have re took the lead. Pick on the heat then, back, the commentary's back. But Bromley played down, nothing to be given that. Here come Bromley, and Bromley are in! Oh my god, so it's offside flag anyway. What a save off the post. The offside flag is fair as brushes there though. Still 2 1 Bromley. Hannon. He's going to get to the ball. He's going to get the ball into the box. Stevie Wayne! Oh my goodness. Big chance. It's actually moved the goal. My goodness. I've listened to that before. The goal's actually moved. Look at that. But anyway, that might be a little stoppage because there's a bit of the goal there over the line. That ain't good. Still 2 1. Oh, cheek. Straight up there. Offside anyway. Here they come again. Mahid. Hannon out wide. Ball in. That's not a bad ball. All the way to Nangan. No! What a chance. What a chance. Still 2 1. Hannon. At Francis. And they've been pegged back here, Gates says. Trying to find the opening, but they're not finding it at the minute. Ah, oh, lost the ball. Probably the fend well with it again. I want a corner flag just falling over there. Look at that. Just falling over. Still 2 1 Bromley. Well, here is the free kick to the heat. Then it's all going on in the box. And to be honest, I reckon they'll probably end up being a Bromley free kick. 
penalty would be nice though. Ball in at the box, headed away. Back away again, and there's a fully clear. No, ball back into the equation. Dinanga, I don't know who that came off last, I guess Dinanga. Yep, Bromley throw him. Good on a Bromley. Wait. 40 seconds away from the 90 minutes, so we'll know how much stoppage time we've got at the end of the second half. Hopefully enough to see another goal in this game. Corner was going ages ago, but something's happening down there that I can't see. The yellow cars to a heat player. Finally, I think the corner's about to be taken. It is. Oh, that's gone off the bar, is it? I think it's just come off the bar direct from the corner. That would have been an unbelievable goal. They come, seven minutes of stoppage time, seven minutes, we can get a couple of goals in that time, come on Gateshead. Forward oh, come Gateshead, back post, oh, ball back across, I want to throw him, come on Gateshead. Here they come, ball in, far post, one a corner, they're putting the pressure on, and so we've got this under six minutes. Here we go then, call up Francis, corner in, and the head is a bit everywhere and Bromley just clear it. Hannon, into the box, wins a throw in. Still three minutes, still time for an equaliser. It was just a collision. I'm gonna assume an elbow, if it's raised. Francis has gone down with a head injury. I didn't really think much of it at the time. Referee showed a red card. I'm not sure to who though. But either way, we'll have a couple more minutes left and Bromley are down to 10 men. This could get interesting. The number four leaves walking off. He was already on a yellow. I wanted to see second yellow come out. I'm sure that is a straight red card. We'll find out afterwards. All I can assume is it was an elbow. Francis has gone off as well. He's not been sent off. Uh, he was at the end of that collision. He's gone off. So it is going to be 10 v 10 for the last couple of minutes. We haven't hit the seven minutes. We've not played for two minutes. So we're going to have some very late drama here, possibly. Very I don't know why I've not got it in the box. Get it in the box. Get it in the box. You're not going to score if you don't get the ball near the goal. The goal's not going to move. Well, that's, the goal has moved, actually, to be fair, but not moved that much. He's going to go for the shot here, isn't he? Oh, he is! Oh! He's hit the bar! Oh, my God. What a goal that would have been. I think it's Richardson. He's just clattered the bar. Unbelievable. The box, headed away. Falls for Richardson again, there's whistles, but still got another minute yet. Still got another minute and a minute. We're probably going to counter attack, and it's Michael Sheik. Sheik is away. And that's game over. Gates had pushed men forward, they hit the bar. But in the end, it's there you are cheering. Michael Cheek with his second of the game. Romley three, eight said one. The breakaway, I said that Michael Cheek at the beginning. He is a bit of a cheat going in non-league. He's got two today. He was gifted one, and now he's just on the break. He's one-on-one, -on -one and, well, when Michael Cheek's one-on-one, -on -one, you very much know the outcome. That's normally a goal. Gateshead have played well today. Bromley weren't really in it in the first half, but second half turned up. They look like they're going to win this game by three goals to one. It's full time from Hayes Lane. Home crowd go home happy. It is finished here in the Manorama National League. Bromley three, Gateshead one. Well, appreciation between the players. Fans going home happy. The Gateshead fans waiting here to clap off their team. They've played well, but not got the result today. Bromley came out in the second half, much better team. Uh, well, I'll talk about the second half, probably deserved to win. But overall, Gateshead probably did deserve out and out of it. You know, there's some appreciation from the players and the fans and the fans and the players. So I'm now outside Hayes Lane uh, after Bromley's 3 one win against Gateshead. Just had a chat, you know, high five, cut the players, had a chat with Luke Allen, uh, which was nice of him. But yes, that is the end of today's game day. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment to let me know how your team did today. I know in the Premier League there was a few shock results. Man United, no, Man United losing is not a shock, but Man City lost, I believe, Everton at home to Luton. So a few shock results there. So yeah, let me know how your team got on. Uh, this has been game day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.